So selling the benefits of IIoT to systems integrators, take zero. All right, so in the last video, we went over the value proposition or the benefits of IIoT and how you should sell that to executives of end users. Now what we're gonna do is talk about selling the benefits of IIoT to systems integrators. We don't actually, no one actually sells the benefit of IIoT to SIs. SIs are the ones who really should be figuring it out. They're the experts. The value of IIoT should be self-evident to systems integrators. I can, one of the things that I do actually is if a systems integrator questions the value of IIoT to me, and occasionally this happens, it doesn't happen a lot, but uh, maybe a half dozen times in the last couple of months, a legacy integrator has reached out to me and just didn't understand the value of IOT. And I, I take one shot at explaining to them the value of IOT. And if they don't get it, then I know they're not going to be in business in a couple of years. I just, and so I just move on to the next integrator that can actually help because it should be self-evident to the SI. So what I'm gonna do is explain what is the actual value proposition for a systems integrator. And so now, to answer that question, we gotta understand a little bit, what is a systems integrator focused on? So a systems integrator, most of them are looking to sell labor, complete projects, design panels, and build panels. This is what systems integrators do, okay? And, and in last month, we talked about the industry 3.0 systems integrator. This is basically their business model. When it comes to building panels, they want to build the same panel over and over and over and over again. That's where they capture their profit. The first time they build the panel, they probably break even, but they get more efficient each subsequent time they build the panel. So what they want to do is they want to force multiply when they're building their panels. They want to design it one time and build it a million times. It's actually the same thing with their projects. Like this is why water wastewater is so popular with systems integration because the systems integrators want to use the same water wastewater project that they developed the first time. They want to use it a hundred different times in a wastewater facility, but they want to charge the same amount for it. So they're looking to do the same thing. They want to force multiply. Okay, so they wanna be able to create a project one time, but sell it many, many, many times, okay? And that's where a systems integrator can build up a lot of profit and feel they're not uh, losing sleep at night trying to figure out how they're gonna get paid. So the value proposition for the SI is that IIoT makes doing this much, much easier, okay? By using protocols like MQTT, and by using stateful protocols that are report by exception, that is they're publishing from the edge as opposed to polling devices on the edge, it makes it much easier for a systems integrator to create a project that they can sell over and over and over again. This is the value prop for an SI. So I'm gonna do two drawings here. One is the typical integration, okay, which is very simple. You know, I've got a couple of PLCs out on the edge. I have one HMI for let's say all my PLCs, I have one OPC server, and that OPC server is talking to all three of my PLCs. I have my SCADA system, which talks to my OPC server, which talks to my devices in the field. For the current systems integrator, what they're trying to do is they are trying to force multiply here, 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 and here. That is that they want, they want to make, write one PLC program and use it over and over and over again. So generally they'll create a bunch of objects that they're gonna run in the PLC and use over and over and over again. They will also in their SCADA system build objects that line up with the objects in their PLCs, okay? And that's their idea of trying to force multiply. But right now the systems integrator gets paid here, 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 and here. They also have to work at all those points. So they've gotta do engineering on the SCADA side, they gotta do engineering on the OPC side, they gotta do engineering on all the PLCs and the HMI. Okay, so that's the old way of doing it. That's, this is the non-IIoT way. So what you can see is, is that this project is, um, it's expensive for the customer who's buying it, but it also is very time consuming for the integrator who's deploying it, okay? Now let's do, let's do the IIoT implementation. So I'm gonna have the exact same PLCs, except I'm gonna do something a little different here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put one edge PC out here, an EPC, which is gonna act as our HMI. In this case, we're gonna say that's Ignition Edge, okay? And then I'm gonna have my SCADA system up here, okay? Now, here, I, what we're doing is we're doing pole response, pole response, pole response. I may have different tag objects in here, so my tag structure in my OPC server may not be uniform, so I couldn't write one SCADA project that would work for all three PLCs. When it comes to the IIoT project, I can still use the same objects that I have in my PLC, say my valve object 
or my pump object that I've written in my PLC, right? But here's the thing, the PLC, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that this PLC is MQTT supported and so is this one. So what it's gonna do is it's going to, and uh, we'll actually say that this is where our namespace is also, our broker. What those two PLCs are gonna do is take all of your objects and just publish them into your SCADA system, okay? Those objects that you spent all your time developing on the PLC side. On this side, we're gonna say this is a legacy PLC that's non-MQTT. Could be any of the Allen Bradley stuff. This is gonna be Ignition Edge. This is gonna talk OPC. And then we're gonna have our HMI on the edge and we're gonna have Ignition Edge publish all of the tags from that PLC up into the namespace. Now here's the crazy thing. I can build screens inside of my SCADA system that become aware when these PLCs come online. So I can, I can build screens in here where this would be a dropdown, PLC1, PLC2, PLC3. What would happen is inside of my SCADA system, I've got my plant, I've got my area, and then all of a sudden PLC1 comes on, PLC2 comes on, PLC3 is not there. So my SCADA system, before we plug PLC3 in to the network, when I grab my dropdown, I'm gonna dynamically look and see that those two exist, and I can only select from one and two. Those PLCs would line up with a line or something. So when I grab PLC1, it's gonna, it's gonna show all of the objects that fit inside one on the screen. As soon as I plug PLC3 in, it's gonna show up here in our namespace. Why? Because it's report by exception and we're using MQTT, which is an IIoT protocol. And now it's gonna show up in my dropdown. I can just grab PLC3. You, this is using the Sparkplug B specification. So it's just gonna show up in the dropdown. And so what we've done is we've created self-aware SCADA. That is, as soon as it's online, that is, as soon as it's online, we're able to visualize everything that's inside of the PLC. So when we talk about what's the value proposition for a systems integrator, at this point, if you're an SI who does these types of projects, it should be very evident to you what the value proposition is. And here's the answer. The answer is, is that the value of your project is all of this. That's how much money you make when you do a project like this, okay? Let's say it's $5 you make off of this. Your cost of doing this, one, two, three, four, five. So your cost is all the labor you gotta spend doing all these various developments. So let's say your cost is that. So you make this on an old implementation. On an IIoT implementation, where is all the engineering done? It's done in two places, here and here, when you plug these in, right? So I've only developed one PLC different client IDs, one program, different client IODs. When I plug them in, the SCADA system is just aware of the object that exists, and now the customer can interact with it. Now I can choose to sell it, and what I should do if I'm ethical is I should sell it for that, and it costs me that. That is the value proposition for a systems integrator. So this is the profit on that project. So you're creating value out of thin air. You're creating value through increased efficiency. We're leveraging IIoT. What is, again, what is efficiency? Efficiency is gains through less loss, right? We are losing less. We're gaining through increased efficiency because it takes us much longer to develop this solution much, much longer to develop this solution than it does this. If you wanna know why is it that Intellic Integration does the revenue of an integrator five times the size of us in terms of personnel, it's that, that's the answer. So this is the value proposition for an SI. And it should be self-evident. I shouldn't even have to do this for systems integrators. And for the systems integrators who now view this and still don't get it, you're in a lot of trouble. You better go get into a different business. <laughs> All right, that's it.